Some of the most common weapons in Aztec society were the atlat, which is the spear thrower, the tamatlat, which is the sling, the tapostopili, which is a sort of spear or halberd, and the makwawit, the bladed club. People often also talk about the use of dart guns, but we don't have any evidence for them being used outside of hunting at all. So I don't really consider them as a weapon of war. It makes perfect sense that this is the combination of weapons you would have because you have projectile launchers like the atlat that can rain spears or darts down on people, tipped usually with bone or obsidian, and the tamatlat, which is flinging stones really violently at your enemy. Um, one source even says that it could go through a man's skull at 200 yards, which is quite incredible. You then, in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, most people are using either a tapostopili, which is, they call it a spear, but because obsidian, this very sharp stone, is uh, which is studded all across the spear and the makwatwit, the club, is um, better for slashing than it is for stabbing. It's not so much a, a spear as it is a halberd, really, I guess you'd say. There are no examples of it left, though, so we don't know exactly what it looked like. Most of the warriors, though, would have carried what's called a makwatwit. The Spanish called it a broadsword, and they thought it was absolutely ferocious because the obsidian blades, and obsidian is one of the sharpest materials in the world, are so capable of cutting through armour that they are absolutely um, uh, lethal weapons. These are incredible weapons of war, but unfortunately the obsidian shatters when it comes into contact with steel, so they're not quite as well suited to fighting people in armour that is from Europe as they are to local fighting.